dollar, dollar, dollar. Dirt and money, no soul. Had to go and get it, ain't no time to kick it. Got a stack of flip for my foes. Dollar, 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 dollar. Please tell me you can hear me. Don't turn your back and don't declare me. Just let me know if you need me. Dollar, 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 dollar. Let me watch out for my partners. Keep my money long, get my team strong. Let me run away from my problems. Yo, what's good, original crew? It's your boy DJ Duke here, your girl. It's here, Nicole. We're back on the channel with another. Get and see original. <laughs> she won't respect this. I can't. Man, welcome, I can't. welcome back to the channel, man. She won't respect that. Mm -mm. But welcome, welcome back to the channel, man. Hey, we got a good one for y'all today. We got 10 infamous children of dangerous drug lords. I want to oh, see yeah. if any of these carry on mm -hmm. the is this the family legacy. I can't. Or did any of them like become just rich and start doing? I got a lot of questions yeah. with this one, bro. This was kind of like off the wall type joint, man. So with that being said, before we get into it, make sure y'all check out the links in the description box down below. You already know where to go if you want to further support the channel. Just always check down below. Also, salute. Salute to, to the comment of the day, man. We appreciate our comments over here, man. So y'all always see the coming of the day. So make sure y'all be in them comments. We checking them. We, <laughs> we see what it's about. So with that being said, man, 10 infamous children of dangerous drug lords. <laughs> Quit trying to come for me with um, my pronunciations around here, man. No, you Pronunciations. Come on. <laughs> Sometimes the apple doesn't fall far from the drug lord tree. Ivan Guzman. Like On top of wealth demonstrating photos of gold-plated weapons, exotic animals, flashy cars, and numerous scantily clad women, Guzman's social media accounts have also provided brazen bragging of the riches and post-prison escape freedom of his infamous father, Joaquin El Chapo Guzman. That is, until Daddy was recently recaptured, at which point Guzman set out to use a social media platform to threaten the Mexican government. Alfredo Guzman. The more defiant Ivan seems to be stepping into the kingpin role in light of his father's imprisonment, but younger brother Alfredo doesn't seem to lack in either brash arrogance or bold outrage. Alfredo has been known to boast of his many cars, and the description of his purported Twitter profile even translates to roughly read, Here you find me, commoners. More recently, much like his brother, he's taken to social media to voice his palatable anger over his father's arrest. He recently tweeted, I can be a saint if you're dealing fairly with me, but otherwise I'm poison and the government will soon know about the Guzmans. Hey, I'm gonna take that lightly, bruh. They, they, that sounds very negative. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Sounds very direct. Sounds very serious for me. Mm. And that's both of his sons. So that cartel is still moving. Bruh. Serafin Zambada. Just as El Chapo formed a close partnership with Ismael El Mayo Zambada, the Sinaloa Federation Cartel and the sons of the two drug lords have also forged friendships. Both Ivan and Alfredo are tight with Serafin Zambada the probable successor to his father's federation. Like the Guzman boys, he isn't shy about showcasing his exorbitant wealth in the form of cars, guns, and other toys. Unlike the Guzmans, Seraphin made no attempts to blur out or even obscure his face in posted pictures. This carelessness proved costly when he was nabbed by the DEA on November 20th while trying to cross the border from Sonora into Arizona. Vincente Zambada Nibla Another son of El Mayo, the self-serving Vincente Zambada Nibla, who was arrested on drug trafficking charges and extradited to the United States in 2010, argued in court that he shouldn't be imprisoned because he was willing to be a rat. Not only did he claim that he's covered by an immunity deal between Mexico and the U.S. based on information shared by the Sonola cartel about rival gangs, but his lawyers even claim that he cannot be prosecuting the states for his role as a secret DEA informant, even as he smuggled billions in cocaine and heroin into the country. This list already crazy. That one though. He said, "Honey, he so he ain't in jail." No. It... No. Ah, damn, and he's still gonna smuggle. Cause what what if he pretended to be an informant, but he's really not an informant. He's that'd be a cold ass game, bro. 
Joaquin Guzman. Self-anointed as El Chino Anthrax, Joaquin Guzman has adopted the flashy braggadocio of his older half-brothers, albeit without the aggressive threats against government officials. Instead, the eldest child of El Chapo's second wife, Griselda, seems content to share snapshots of a lavish lifestyle that includes partying with Paris Hilton, extravagant Ooh. clubbing, and the possession of high-powered firearms, and, you know, a pet tiger. Okay. However, Guzman's prized possession seems to be his gold-plated, diamond-encrusted handgun a device he's taken along to the movies and other public spaces. Giselle Guzman. On the female side of it. This should have just been his kid Yo, this at this lot. point. This his kid. Baby. They, they say you may have took our daddy. You ain't oh, stopping no show. You ain't stopping no show, though. I want his old boy kids, uh, uh, Pablo. I don't know. I don't know. Pablo, because El, El Chapo, his, all his kids keeping it. She. Chapo's Guzman clan, Alejandra Giselle Guzman comes by her fiery, defiant personality naturally. Although often shown to look glamorous in photos posted on social media sites, the 34-year-old pulls no punches in her empathic support of her family drug business. To over 50,000 Twitter followers, she proudly connects herself to the Guzman heritage with tweets like, I'm beautiful because of my mother. She told her 40,000 followers, intelligent because of my father, and a murderer because of me. She hasn't actually been linked to any known murderers, but oh, with this family, you never know. Yeah, Melissa Plancart. Okay. Selfie-loving, aspiring pop singer Melissa Plancart is trying to forge a rather unique and controversial path to music stardom by linking her name to her father's crime syndicate. Melissa's father, Enrique Plancart, was one of Mexico's most wanted men and a leader of the Knights Templar drug cartel before being killed in a gunfight in early 2014. Weeks before her father's death and during a civil war which pitted Plancart's group against federal and state police, Melissa stirred controversy by posting a selfie while wearing a dress adorned with Knights Templar and Enrique Plancart Jr. Rare enough is the drug lord who sires one aspiring pop star, but Enrique Plancart wound up with two musical hopefuls among his kin. Melissa's brother Enrique Jr. also hasn't been shy about letting his notorious roots be known, even dedicating his song Pa Mi Viejo for my old man, to his father. Both Plankart siblings sparked a scandal in 2012 when they performed at a music festival that was sponsored by the same state government of Michoacan that their dad was at war with. Francine Lucas Sinclair. These mm -hmm. kids are low, low, low. So, so that, these cartel, the cartel mm -hmm. never stop. Mm. That's what I'm getting from it. They just gonna figure out another way to keep it going. And just think, you thought you caught one, but he left four, five offsprings. They got the same mindset. And, For a girl whose dad crippled an entire New York borough as a cocaine and heroin trafficker, Francine Lucas Sinclair enjoyed a blissfully naive and privileged upbringing. As a toddler, she owned a Fendi fur coat, $10,000 FAO Schwartz train set, and a cache of stuffed animals stuffed with cash. As her father, Frank Lucas, went to work at the drug kingpin of Harlem, he simply told her that he was in the candy business. In January 1975, Francine was three when she witnessed federal agents breaking into the family house to arrest her dad in front of her. She emerged from the shadows to tell her story ahead of the 2007 release of American Gangster, the Denzel Washington film that depicted Frank's criminal life. Sebastian Marroquin El Chapo's name may dominate present-day headlines, but the most infamous drug lord of all time remains Pablo Escobar. With his father once ranked number seven on the Forbes list of the world's richest men, it's no surprise that his son Sebastian Marroquin, who changed his name from Juan Pablo Escobar, experienced a rather different childhood. Marroquin recalls a sprawling childhood estate with his own private zoo, once featuring exotic animals such as elephants. While this may be a dream come true for some kids, he also remembers living in an environment of fear, witnessing his father threaten to kill employees for taking drugs in front of him. Marroquin recounted these memories in his autobiography, Pablo Escobar, My Father, which became a bestseller in Latin America. We hope you enjoyed this video. Yo, yo, that was very interesting. That was, that was definitely interesting. Because... That was it. And I, I, want, I was wondering, was Frank Lucas' kids was going to be in there? I got my answer. Pablo Escobar got my answer. Because mm -hmm. it sounds like, it's, with him, it seems like his son either is he the fat and still doing, you know what I'm saying, the family business, but, you know what I'm saying, on the slit, 
or he decided to go a totally different direction than his dad. Mm-hmm. The rest of them said, Can we keep in the family legacy going? <laughs> and then Frank Lucas, I guess he only had a daughter. I'm not sure. His, but his daughter, it seems like it's, she probably didn't want to keep that lifestyle because. No. Well, she went one. Well, introduced to the yeah, she was only three when like his operation got yeah like seized, so she probably wouldn't know how to even mm-hmm. operate in that land unless you know what I'm saying. Daddy told her, you know what I'm saying, feeling like, <laughs> this you know. now. But the rest of them though, my father said keep the family legacy. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> Do some bad mother. <laughs> Uh, hey, but that's wild, bro. But y'all make sure y'all spam us up in the comment section down below. Let us know what else y'all want to see us react to so we can make sure we do bring it over here on the channel for y'all, man. But as always, y'all know how it go, man. I do go with the name DJ New Kid. This is We are. We are, y'all. Get me running away from my promise